Hello students, happy to meet you all in this course on Shakespeare and in this presentation we are going to see about Shakespeare's theatre and audience and before uh, we see about the Shakespeare's uh, theatre that is the Globe and Blackfriars in which most of the Shakespeare's plays have been performed, um, let me give an overview of Elizabethan theatres in those days. In the beginning, the plays were performed in palaces, tavern, yards and in gentlemen's houses and the few dramatic companies or admiral's men and uh, chamberlain's men both were patronized by Queen Elizabeth I and there were uh, three types of uh, theatre in Elizabethan age that is the plays were staged in halls of royal palace and in the inns of court and the next one public theatre and the third one the private theatre and the public theatre it is an open air theatre and the, the seating accommodation is for uh, 3000 people at a time and uh, these public theatres uh, were mostly visited by common people uh, and the rates were uh, com cheaper compared to the private theatre and these public uh, private theatres they were all closed theatres and visited by the royal peoples and the rich peoples the seating accommodations here were more comfortable compared to the public theatre and the first public theatre was the theatre by Lord James Borbage and Lord Chamberlain's men used the theatre and some of the public theatres were the Rose and the Globe Theatre, the famous Globe Theatre where Shakespeare's plays have been staged and then the Fortune Theatre, Swan Theatre, Red Bull Theatre, these are all some famous public theatres and the Blackfriars this is a famous private theatre and it had roofs, artificial lightings and other amenities that the other playhouses didn't possess. Now let us see uh, about the globe and theatre in which Shakespeare's plays were staged. The theatre was a wooden structure and it was hexagonal outside and round within. The stage and the boxes and the walls were covered and the rest of the theatre was open to the sky. The plays were staged by daylight since there were no artificial lightings. The stage has four parts, the front stage, the back stage and the upper stage. The front stage projected far into the auditorium. It served as street, battlefield or garden and it was open to the sky. The backstage was the part behind the pillars. There was a two pillars, there was two pillars between the front stage and the backstage. And the backstage served as a large room, a palace hall, an office or a tavern or an inn. At the back of the two side walls there were the entrance and the exit for the actors and the inner stage served as the bedroom, the tomb or cell, the bedroom scene in Othello, the tomb scene in a Romeo and Juliet and the cell in the Tempest, the cell where the Caliban was kept and over the inner stage there was the upper stage, it was used as the balcony the balcony in Romeo and Juliet and the in Merchant of Venice Jessica stands in the balcony and sees Lorenzo and the walls of the side wall the side walls were hung with tapestries and these tapestries were blue in color for the comedy plays and black for the tragedy and yellow for the history plays and now we we'll see about the seating accommodations and it was the pit, the galleries and the boxes. The pit, it is a place for groundlings where the lower class people 
they come and wa stand and watch the place and they paid one penny for this pit and then the galleries as in the modern day circus the galleries are used by the middle class and the merchant class people and they paid two pennies for the galleries and then the boxes it was used by the rich and the royal noble peoples and they paid six pennies for the boxes in the beginning there was no curtain in the elizabethan stage so a scene begin with the entrance of the actors and ended with the exit even the dead bodies had to be carried off the stage in a funeral procession and we see in julius caesar antony and others carry off the body of caesar from the stage and in hamlet hamlet drags away the body of polonius from the stage there was no painted backdrop and very little movable scenery in the elizabethan stage so shakespeare made this lack with the descriptive passages that are poetic in appeal and these descriptive passages also help the audience to understand the plot and also the characters in detail and we see there was a flag at the top of the theater and if the flag flies the people can know that the a play is going to be staged in the theater and these flags were in different colors they are they are also blue for comedy black for tragedy and yellow for history plays so that people if the blue flag flies the people can understand the comedy play is going to be staged and if the black flies they'll understand it's the tragedy play is going to be staged and yellow if the yellow flag flies they'll understand it is a history play and another noted feature of the elizabethan the theater was there were no women actors in the play so women's part were played by boys and especially young boys so in some of the uh, plays the women characters like uh, uh, portia nerissa jessica viola and rosaline they appear in the disguise of men for the most of the time in the play and another feature we see this it was common for one actor to play several roles so shakespeare had to give them enough time for the costume change since uh, the costumes was elaborate in the elizabethan time by the costume itself the audience can understand many things from about the characters in the play they have, all the characters they had different types of clothing in different colors so the costumes were elaborate in the elizabethan theater and i think uh, we have covered some of the most of the features of the elizabethan theater and in the next part we will see about the elizabethan audience in detail until then stay home stay safe thanks for watching